In this particular video, we are going to discuss about SIL or safety integrity level. How the safety integrity level is, is decided, why it is required, and what is the use of it. So this is this is the IEC 61511 safety life cycle. So if you see the chart, so it starts with the hazard and risk assessment. And after hazard and risk assessment, there is an allocation of safety function to the protection layer, then safety requirement specification for the safety instrumented system, and then design and engineering of safety instrumented system. So the initial stage, like from the this clause 8, clause 9, and clause 10, they basically in these steps, HAZOP, LOPA, and SEAL allocation is being done. And the designing and engineering of safety instrumented system and installation and validation, this is the stage where the SEAL verification is mainly conducted. Right? Now, what is done in hazard and risk assessment? This is the brainstorming to identify the possible hazards in the conceptual design. After that, this is like a qualitative, not quantitative. This is qualitative, right? And then there is a quantitative low power risk and risk matrix where protection layer against high risk hazards are identified, right? So this is where the risk gets quantified. And this is what is generated out of LOPA, these onion rings. So you have your process, your basic process control system, your alarm, and then you have emergency, fire, mechanical protection, everything is there. In between what is left is your safety instrumented system. So during the LOPA, all these layers are identified and how much risk reduction is possible by each of this layer is also being calculated. First, these three layers is calculated. So this is the risk that can be at risk reduction that can be achieved by these three layers, right? And you have a risk requirement, how much risk you can tolerate, right? So that tolerable risk versus this risk that is already being achieved. So the left risk, so tolerable risk minus the achieved risk is mainly to be done by the safety instrumented system. So during the LOPA or after the LOPA, the seal selection happens, right? What, what should be the integrity requirement? Safety integrity level that is, that is decided. And then comes the SRS where much more detail of the seal requirement is specified. So it includes your seal requirement, it includes your uh, the design, how it should be designed. Uh, there are some inputs like what will be the process safety time. Uh, process safety time means how first the safety instrumented function needs to respond to a demand, all these things. So basically, uh, during the LOPA and after the LOPA, you identify the different protection layers and, uh, and also at the same time, you identify how much risk reduction is required through the safety instrumented system. And this, and that decides the target risk reduction. So which is actual frequency by tolerable frequency, right? How much is actually achieved by how much you can tolerate. So that gives you the seal rating, right? So to tolerable varies country to country or organization to organization, right? So suppose your actual frequency, you are, what you are getting is 10 to the power minus two and your tolerable is 10 to the power minus three, right? So basically, then uh, what you need to do is you need to achieve a risk reduction factor of 10 through 
your safety instrumented system. So again, this denominator is specific to organization or country and the top portion is the risk that is already being reduced through other layers of the onion ring model. Okay, so this gives you 10. So when it is 10, if you see this chart, this chart is designed on the basis of the risk reduction factor. So if it is more than 10, right, and less than 100, then it is SIL 1, right? But we are getting like 10, so it is not even SIL 1. Consider a different situation where you, you are achieving 10 to the power minus 1 and your requirement is 10 to the power minus 3. So RRF becomes 100, right? So if RRF becomes 100, then it goes into the SIL 1 situation. So this is how basically SIL 1, 2, and 3 are decided. 